Hello and welcome back to the channel. Just a quick video today to sort of bring you up to date on what I was doing last night. At the moment this week there's great opportunity to see the Starlink satellites up in the sky from about half past nine at night. So you don't have to stay up too late to do some astrophotography literally in your back garden. Last night, well the night before actually apparently it was really clear and I've had some comments from people in different parts of the world that they've seen them at different times over the past few weeks. But we were meant to see them quite well last night. I didn't see them quite as much as I'd hoped. I got a couple on camera, which I'll put the pictures up at the end. They are not amazing astro images by any stretch of the imagination. But it was fun to capture them and it shows that you can do this kind of photography in your own on your own land in the middle of a town sort of thing. Apparently, I've read this morning, there are more opportunities to capture the Starlink satellites this week. And there's also a meteor shower due at the moment. The best time to capture it would, capture it would be tonight, Wednesday morning. So Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. If you don't follow Starman, Stephen Cheatley, he is an amazing astrophotographer and he has so much knowledge and is willing to educate people on the subject so i'll link his channel below because it's definitely worth subscribing to but yeah i just wanted to share these images that i had a lot of fun capturing um as i say they're not fantastic by any by any means but they were fun to capture and i think that's what i get from astrophotography i've done it a couple of times before one of the images i was very very happy with the other ones were okay and these probably aren't as good as that but it does show that you can capture stuff literally in your back garden. So what I used was my 750D, my long lens at 70mm, and the um, settings I used were, I was shooting about 10 seconds, between 10 and 13 seconds seemed to work quite well, about f10, and the ISO was 6400. I decided to stick it about 70 mil because I wanted to exclude houses and get as much of the sky in as possible without getting man-made human elements, houses, bushes, trees, that kind of thing. But I also wanted to capture quite a bit of the sky, so I didn't zoom in on the long lens. I just kept it at 70 mil, and I, that, I think that kind of worked. I also captured a couple of shooting stars as well. Well, I, I saw a couple of shooting stars, but I captured one. At least I think it's a shooting star, but again, it's not a fantastic picture at all. But I can say I've captured a shooting star, which is quite good. So, yeah, the, the point of this sort of half ramble was to show you these images, which I'll put up now, and also say get out in the garden this week because it's clear outside and there's some activity to capture if you're interested in dabbling in a bit of astrophotography as always thank you for watching if you've not subscribed already please do consider subscribing and until the next one stay safe and i'll see you soon